Well, hello, first graders. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for doing your science work, and I hope you were able to get outside and enjoy some of the nice weather that we've been having lately. Um, well, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about science that we're going to be working on this week. Um, as you know, we said our new unit is air and weather. And what we did was we started by looking at exploring some different properties of air. And some of the things that we proved are that air can move things, air takes up space, and air has mass. And then uh, we started last week, we started to take a look at some air and H2O together. And I said I wanted to do a demonstration that showed air and H2O. And a lot of you came back to me and uh, demonstrated uh, that you had uh, discovered that air is lighter than H2O when you took a cup full of air down to the bottom of a container of H2O and you saw that the bubbles would go up. That was your evidence. So nice job with that. Some others did the old uh, paper on the uh, top of the, the uh, cup full of H2O and you tried that. Sorry about that buzzer. Um, but you went and tried that and when you did that, um, you were demonstrating some things that related to air pressure. So again, thank you for sharing that evidence with us. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to explore something else about air. And we said air takes up space. It's there, but we can't see it. And today what we're going to do is we're going to look at something that is called air resistance. Um, so to start out, I'm just going to do a quick little demonstration. I have two pieces of paper that um, are the same size, but I crumpled them one into a different shape than this one. Okay? And when I go and drop them, I want you, before I drop them, I'm going to drop them from the same height at the same time. I want you to predict which one you think is going to hit the ground first. Okay? Crumpled one or the one that is not crumpled. Okay? Think about it. This one or this one? Make your prediction. All right, I'm gonna drop them. Let's see which one hits the ground first. Well, obviously the crumpled up one hit the ground first. Now, I wonder why, why that happened. Well, based on what we've been exploring the last couple weeks is that you were telling me that air takes up space, okay? And when I was using this, you could see that some of it hit the air more, one piece hit the air, uh, more surface of the air, uh, more so than the other one, the crumpled up one. So therefore, this didn't have something that we call air resistance. So today, what we're looking at is how we can use air resistance to make an object fall slower, okay, or to drop slower to the ground. So that's what we're looking at today. Now, this dude by the name of Galileo, a long, long time ago, what he did was he did a lot of experiments like this. And he wondered why this would happen. And he found out that if you took away all the air, like if I had a way to suck the air out of my house, wouldn't want to do that. But if I could do that, these two would drop at the same time. They would hit the ground, even though they're crumpled up. And one place where there's some really cool experiments with that is on the moon. Astronauts that have gone to the moon have done some really neat experiments because there isn't any air there where they've done things like dropped a piece of paper in a crumpled up, a uh, flat piece of paper in a crumpled up piece and notice that they hit the ground at the same time. Well, we, of course, where we are, we have air. Thank goodness, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to be here if we didn't have air in an atmosphere. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little engineering. We're going to try to design something just out of some recyclable old things you have in your home that can drop to the ground as slow as possible. And hopefully you have a place where you can um, drop things from that's a little bit higher, maybe like a stairway or what have you. And you're going to first design it, draw it out. I won't need to see your design, but I would like you to sketch it out when you figure out which materials you can use. And then like, I'd like you to go and build it and test it. 
and then see if you can make it better. See if you can make it go down slower. I'm gonna show you two that I put together here. So I found a piece of paper and some string and some tape and I found a clothespin um, in my home. All right, and don't worry, you don't have to have these materials. But I happen to have these at home. And so this is kind of my weight to help this come down. And you might realize that parachutes definitely use air resistance for people to drop to the ground safely. And so what I find is if I can get to a higher place, and I'm just gonna do it right in my, my room right here, but I'm gonna go and drop this and let's see if it goes down slower than if I just dropped the closed pin down. Let's see. I would say so. That seemed to hit the ground a little more slowly. Then the other thing I found, I tried another one and, and on this one, I took a, a plastic shopping bag that I had and I cut it just so I had a piece of it. Then I took a piece of paper and I cut it into strips and I taped it on. And then I wanted to add a little weight like the clothespin I had and I put a little Lego figurine there. And so for this one, I'm gonna do the same thing, okay? And I'm gonna drop that. You can see that went down a little more slowly, okay? A little slower than the, the first one I did. And what I could do is try to make it better, okay? I could try to change this to make it even better. Remember, you don't have to have fancy materials, okay? Um, but I would like you to try this out. Try to make something fall to the ground slower. Even if you just have a piece of paper, try to fold it so it might fall to the ground slower. Okay, so again, our concept here is air resistance. And we're doing a little engineering, designing, building, testing, and then making it better. I would love to see, what I'd like you to do is I'd like to see either a photo of your parachute that you make or a video of you testing it. Either one of those would be great. So that's going to be your job for this week is to use air resistance to design, build, and test your parachute. So I'll look forward to seeing your designs and have a great rest of your week, first graders.